The Andromeda galaxy was the galaxy that brought to light the fact that the universe and creation itself didn't revolve around us. It was proof that the Milky Way isn't the only galaxy on Earth, and that we might just be a speck in the greater universe overall. Over the past century, we've actually learned a lot about Andromeda, but most of the information has been from Earth. Now that we have access to instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, things are a lot different. Turns out, the Andromeda Galaxy is not what we thought it was. Data from the James Webb Telescope has shocked the entire industry. Join us as we bring you all the details on the truth about the Andromeda Galaxy and the shocking truth about it that we didn't see coming. For an entire century, just over a century ago, the Milky Way was commonly thought of as a band of faint wispy whitish lights stretching across the night sky. This perception was influenced by the limited technology of the time, which prevented astronomers from discerning individual stars within the Milky Way. People held various beliefs about the Milky Way, often associating it with the center of all creation where the celestial and terrestrial spheres met. Galileo Galilei, an Italian astronomer, was actually the one who revolutionized our understanding of the Milky Way in the early 17th century. Using his newly developed telescope, he made groundbreaking observations that challenged the prevailing Aristotelian cosmology. He discovered that the Milky Way was not just a diffuse light band, but a massive collection of individual stars, planets, and other celestial objects. The Milky Way galaxy, the nearest galaxy to us, is the Andromeda galaxy, and we think there are about a hundred billion galaxies in the visible universe. So, believe it or not, that means we can actually count the number of stars in the visible universe. Through his observations, he demonstrated that the Milky Way was not at the center of the universe, as previously believed, but instead a vast expanse of stars scattered throughout space. In 1750, English astronomer Thomas Wright proposed a new hypothesis in his work, an original theory or new hypothesis of the universe. According to Wright's speculation, the Milky Way was not a random distribution of stars in space, but a completely flat layer of stars. Plus, he also suggested that a portion of this vast structure was our own solar system. While Wright's hypothesis was a step forward in understanding the structure of the Milky Way, it was still limited by the observational technology available at that time. They all still believed that the Milky Way was all there was to it, and considering the limitations, that's not surprising. But astronomy made major leaps by the early 1800s, and by the early 1900s, things were changing fast. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble, an American astronomer, made a transformative discovery using the 100-inch Hooker telescope at Mount Wilson Observatory. Hubble observed distant nebulae beyond the Milky Way. Through the observations and analysis of these objects, he showed that they weren't actually part of the Milky Way, but in fact, were entirely separate galaxies, each containing billions of stars. One of the closest of these galaxies was the Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31. It has a rich history of observations that dates back centuries. One of the earliest known records of the celestial object can be traced back to the 10th century when the Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi described it as a small cloud in star charts from that period. It was labeled as the little cloud, which might have to do with the fact that when you examine it from Earth, it does seem like it has a faint cloud all around it. The significance of these observations lies in the fact that al-Sufi was able to identify this distant cosmic entity without the help of telescopic instruments, relying solely on his keen eyesight and observations. He was able to do that because Andromeda is one of the only galaxies in the universe that you can see from Earth's surface without needing any special instruments. All you really need is to know exactly where to look, and you'll see it right there in the open sky. Sure, you can't go into much detail, but you can still see that something other than the usual stars is there. 
That's why it wasn't until 1612 that a more detailed description of the Andromeda galaxy, based on telescopic observations, was provided by Simon Marius. His work ended up being what laid the foundation for future astronomers to study this massive cosmic structure. Later, in 1764, the renowned French astronomer Charles Messier catalogued the Andromeda galaxy as M31 in his well-known Messier catalog, mistakenly attributing its discovery to Simon Marius, unaware of al-Sufi's earlier work. But that doesn't mean that he didn't have a major hand in putting Andromeda on the map. For almost 100 years after this, astronomers all over the world were trying to understand more and more about this mysterious galaxy, each adding to the last one's findings. A significant leap in understanding the nature of the Andromeda galaxy occurred in 1864, when the English astronomer William Huggins made a groundbreaking observation. He studied the spectrum of Andromeda and noticed that it was different from that of a typical gaseous nebula. That paved the way for the world to really get to know Andromeda for what it really is. And while it's a lot, the Andromeda galaxy has a mass estimated to be between 1 and 2 trillion times that of our Sun. It's a colossal cosmic structure that just happens to live relatively close to us in the vastness of space. In all the research conducted until now, scientists believe that Andromeda is about 10 billion years old making it quite ancient in cosmic terms. Its age hints at a long and intricate history of formation and evolution. One of the intriguing aspects of Andromeda's origin is the hypothesis that it came into being through the merging of several smaller proto-galaxies. This suggests that over billions of years, smaller galactic entities gradually came together under the force of gravity to form the majestic Andromeda galaxy we see today. Such galactic mergers are common occurrences in the cosmos, shaping the growth and structure of galaxies. But it all happens so slowly that you can't actually see it happen until major progress has been made. For a long time, astronomers thought Andromeda was significantly more massive than our Milky Way galaxy. From an objective point of view, a mistake like this could easily be made because we're in our own galaxy, and seeing Andromeda from Earth does make things look so large that you'd easily think that there's no way anything could even come close to its size. But that's not the case. Recent research has brought about a re-evaluation of these beliefs. New findings have led scientists to somewhat reduce their estimate of Andromeda's mass while simultaneously increasing the mass attributed to our Milky Way. The Andromeda galaxy's physical dimensions, though, are what astronomers totally agree on. It's known to stretch farther than our own Milky Way, with an impressive diameter of about 220,000 light years. Andromeda surpasses the Milky Way's estimated diameter of roughly 100,000 to 175,000 light years.